What up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ford Era. Me and Solomon. And today we got some stuff we're doing to gold dust. So, as you guys can remember, I uh, said in the last video that I got a full interior, which I do. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take out the front seat which is for sale with the brackets. That's a 2018 Mustang GT seat with a fat fender garage bracket. And then in the back, we're gonna take out the original bench seat. And uh, that's where I'm gonna stop because I've got a bunch of stuff, work commitments, and I just won't have a lot of time. And I really wanna get the seats in there. So I'm actually gonna be taking the truck over to I-85 Motorsports. My boy Kenny's gonna put that stuff in, but here are the seats. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that now. Throw you guys in the truck, get a time lapse going, and uh, catch you in a second. So, pulled the seats out, cleaned everything up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the system that I have back here, but it's a retro sound. So I've got three eight inch subs. There's one built into there and then two amps. All right, so I'm gonna load up all the stuff now and then head over to Kenny's shop and drop that stuff off. All right, so got the seats in. This one, the airbag deployed, so I cut the airbag out. I'm gonna see if Kenny can just sew this on for now, but eventually I wanna rewrap it, maybe do like an Aaliyah leather interior or something, but there we are. And then the back, the seats are really cool, so it's got these mounts over there, so those are gonna have to go to this, and then the seat can go all the way up so I can access the floor. So right now it's just sitting in there, so I could get to the shop and then put the other seat in here center console and I'm also going to try to get Kenny to put in the uh, vintage air so right now we got the center console the interior and the vintage air hopefully Kenny can knock all of those out I think it'll be really awesome with that I need to get everything ready because show season starting I'm going to be on the road more and I need a truck to be more comfortable and the reason why I'm switching out the AC is because this is like an original AC and it really doesn't blow cold and yeah so it needs something a little bit better anyway gonna head over to kenny's shop catch you there all right head over here to find motorsports so uh... oh, i'm gonna go chat with them catch you in a second we're here with this 1970 we get ready to put a 2015 interior into it so i'm gonna drop the vintage air in it pull all that stuff out over there we're gonna make this thing fit. We're gonna bolt up these back seats in this car. We're gonna be ready to ride. Hell yeah. I appreciate you taking care of it for me, bro. All right, guys. So I You'll doubt see Kenny. It when you see it. He's not gonna take video. I might get pictures, so the next video might have slideshows and stuff. But uh, we'll catch you then. The thing will be done. See ya. All right, everybody. So just got over here to I 5 Motorsports. Kenny's been working on my truck. You so got what we did here, and we, we made a bracket and a gusset and welded it together. So basically we made the seats work in the truck, put the stereo system back in it. We made all the brackets to hold it down. Everything still works in it. You can bring the back down too. And then front seats, you know, you can get up in it and it's like a brand new car now. Nice, fits good, nice brackets. You won't go through the steering wheel if you put your seatbelt on. Hold on, Tater. Gotta lock it down. No, no, no. It's the other side. That one won't go far. Ah! We need to make it work. Yeah. We got the custom console. Custom fitted to the front of the truck. Yeehaw, Tater. That looks good. Kenny was able to make the, uh, the fat fender brackets work. He had to drill them just a little bit, but overall it was good. And then yeah, they worked. He, you, he lowered the seat, so 
uh, he actually cut the seat itself and lowered the entire thing so that way it sits in there nicely. He only did that on the driver's side, the passenger side, he didn't yet. I kind of was rushing because I'm trying to go tomorrow. Man, uh, I got a little trip. that's for your chick that's short, man. She get to sit up, it's like a booster seat. <laughs> Pretty much. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little update. I'm gonna go, uh, I'll put all the video together from everything I got here. I think Kenny might've taken some video too. So you guys will see that and uh, there'll be plenty more about this interior. So we'll catch you soon. I got back to my shop and I decided I didn't want to clean the interior so I got the truck interior out of eBay so it was pretty dirty so I just cleaned it all up wiped everything down cleaned all the dirt and grime out of the cup holders and everything and cleaned up the interior even put some dressing on the floor mats and this thing looks great so Kenny put in the front seats and the back seats everything works like it's supposed to so what he did was he built this bracket over here and it bolts in here right here and then on the other side and all of that goes to the f-250 bracketry that i originally had or the f-150 whatever it was and then boom just like a new truck and then the seats i'm using the fat fender garage brackets we lowered the seats and got them installed i still need to fix this so maybe I'll have my mom stitch that up or something. I don't know, but it's looking good. Eventually I want to put the shifter boot back through. I need to get the four by four shifter up higher. And then I think that'll be perfect right there. And uh, still plenty more to do on the interior, but here she is for now. So it's a big upgrade. I'm super happy about it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the video. I know it wasn't a real how-to. Some of you guys probably wanted to see a little bit more. Sorry about that, but there's plenty more to come with this. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please consider giving us a thumbs up and share the video with any of your friends. And uh, consider dropping a comment if you got any questions. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next one later. All right, so as you guys saw, the seats had the airbags that went off. And I had hired my mother over here to fix it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let me show you guys the other side. She just did it. I didn't think I should get a video, but decided I should. Excuse. I've spoken on over an hour. Heck yeah. Yep. So, making the interior look a little better. Every little step counts. Thought the video was going to be over before, but it wasn't. So, all the things that I said, like, subscribe, comment, all that still counts. Catch you soon. I'm going to show you guys the final product of my mom with stitch work. No, she's never done it. She's never done automotive upholstery, so this was her first attempt. And it looks way better than it did. Eventually, I plan on getting uh, custom seat covers done for this. So this is just temporary. So, see you guys in the next one. Later.